Hello everyone, I'm Bad Pan, a bad who catches bullets with a pan. In today's video, we'll dive into creating a dynamic crosshair like in the game Fierce to Fathom using Unity. It is when you look at interactable objects, a small circle will appear inside your crosshair, and we will create that in this video. This video will be put inside a series of videos covering Unity tips and tricks. I also have a playlist on my channel where you can learn how to create functions from the game Fierce to Fathom. But that's not all. I've published my own retro horror game, and if you enjoy twists in the story, I'd be very happy if you would check it out and share your thoughts. The link to my game is in the description. All the files used and created in this video like the scripts and the images can be found on my github the link to the files on my github is in the description as well if you enjoyed the video a like would be amazing you can subscribe to see more contents like this you can tell me any comments any opinions or any suggestions you have i'd be very happy to answer them with all that being said let's begin so for the first section of the video i'm going to be creating the ui creating the ui is actually very easy we're going to be creating this a circle with an empty space in the middle and another circle inside it which will actually turn on when we interact with an interactable object to actually create it we need a canvas i'm going to delete it and create it again so right click here or click on this plus go to ui create a canvas i'm going to call it canvas crosshair you can put the canvas settings like me put this one on a scale with the screen size give your screen resolution mine is 1920 by 1080 Put this one at 0.5 that is the setting for the canvas now right click on the canvas create a ui i'm going to create a ui raw image to give the texture to i actually have these two textures i'll put these images as well as the script in my github you can download these images as well in my github the link to download is in the description so while we have it for the first raw image i'm going to say circle empty i'm just going to drag and drop my texture to it or you can click on this one and find the texture i have a lot of textures so dragging and dropping is actually very easier so circle empty this amount is a lot i'm just going to make it width and height to 50 50 maybe 40 40 is enough and i'm going to duplicate this one to duplicate it you can hold ctrl and press d or right click and duplicate i'm going to call this one circle full and i'm going to give this texture to it this whole circle texture to it and i'm just going to give it a width of 20 or maybe you can give it a, even give it 30 to make it like this maybe 25 is enough yeah 25 is enough okay i have it so circle full should be deactivated by default and when we interact with an object that is interactable the circle appears so we are now done with the editor part you can go ahead and create a script for it so i'm just going to create a new folder i'm going to call it scripts i'm going to create a new c sharp mono behavior script or c sharp script fears to fathom crosshair double click to open it up so what we'll be creating now is actually the interaction system that we created before but instead of you know writing on the interaction text we'll be just activating full circle image if you watch the interaction system before you will understand this video perfectly if you didn't no worries i will explain everything here but if you want to you know better understand it with an example with more examples you can get to that video by clicking on top of your screen right now with the link in the description so the first thing we want to create is a public game object for the full circle so we activate and deactivate it based on the thing we are interacting with so we're just going to say public game object i'm just going to call it circle full underline game object next we need a boolean to actually check if we can interact with the stuff or not for example if we are actually talking to somebody we don't want to be able to interact with the door for example to actually make that happen we need to create a boolean if you want to access it from other codes and other scripts you just have to make it public but in this case i'm not actually using it outside the code so i'm just going to make it a simple boolean i'm just going to call it can interact which is equal to true by default we can interact with stuff after we created everything we need to go inside void update first thing first we need to check if we can interact or not so we actually created a boolean here which would actually do that for us we're just gonna say if can interact is equal to true if we can actually interact we go ahead and interact so the thing we want to do right now is if we can actually interact we need to shoot a ray cast so we're just gonna say ray i'm gonna call it ray one which is equal to new ray the ray needs to be shot from our position to forward so the ray will be shot in a direction we're actually looking at and we need a ray cast hit which is actually the thing we hit i'm just gonna call it hit one then under here we need to check if we hit something or not so we say if physics dot ray cast we need to give it a ray which is ray one we need to say out hit one we need to give it a hit as well for the object that we hit and we need to give it a distance i'm just gonna give it 10 for example if we hit something in a distance of 10 then we need to check what we hit if we hit for example a door or for example a couch or a person we need to first say if hit one the thing we hit dot collider dot compare tag for example door so right now we're going to check if the thing we hit has a collider if it actually has a tag of door then we go ahead inside here and we do some stuff if it was actually a door if it was not a door then for example we're going to check if hit one dot collider dot compare tag if the thing we hit actually has a tag of for example cube 
if it actually is a cube if it was not a door then we check if it is actually a cube if it is actually not a cube for example we want to say it is nothing we can actually interact with so if we cannot interact with it we just have to for example deactivate the full circle in this case door is actually an interactable object so we just have to activate the circle full underline game object so we're just gonna say circle full underline game object that's set active true as easy as that and we're gonna kind of do the same thing for the cube and because in this case cube is actually also interactable we're just gonna say circle full that's set active true and if we hit something other than the cube on the door what do we want to do we want to deactivate the circle the full circle so we're just gonna say circle full that game object that's an active equal to false it's actually as easy as that what if we actually interacted with something that has a collider then we look at the sky an object that doesn't have any collider so in that case our circle full should be deactivated as well because when we look at the sky we don't want the circle to be activated and if we don't actually do that and we look at the door then we look at the sky let me just show you we can go ahead and check this part out we need to give this fierce to fathom crosshair script to our camera because the camera actually has the interact script so i'm just gonna drag and drop my script to my camera it needs a game object which is actually the circle full i'm just gonna drag and drop it here you can just click on this and find it here so in this case we have an object with the tag of door that we created in the previous video is actually this door if you remember we created a collider for this door and when we interacted with this door would actually you know it has a tag of door and for example i want to create another object in here with the tag of cube we don't have the tag cube here we will create it i'll just show you guys create a 3d cube i'm just gonna you know put it down like here is enough so to actually give it a tag that we can actually interact with it to know if it is actually a person or a cube or a door we're gonna go to this tag section when we selected our cube we go to this add tag and click on this plus and we can add a cube tag for it the small and the capital version of the letters that also matter so be careful with that so capital c other letters are small so this is actually safe but be careful it's not set yet so you're just gonna select it again and go to the tag and give it the cube tag so now this cube actually has a tag of cube and this door actually has a tag of door so when we look at them our circle should actually activate but before checking it out let's make my you know cube bigger and give it a red material because we want to actually see it better it's actually a red circle we can go ahead and check it out you see when i look at the cube my circle full activates and when i look at anything else it deactivates and the same thing also happens with the door i look at the door the circle in the center actually activates and when I look at the wall, it deactivates because we cannot interact with the wall, but we can interact with the, the bug we said when we look at something, for example, the sky very fast, you see that the circle doesn't deactivate because in the script we actually wrote, we didn't actually say what to do when it hit nothing. Actually fix this is actually very easy. Under the if physics.raycast, you're going to go down here and say else. Else if we hit nothing, we just gonna do is, we just gonna make the circle full equal to empty. Circle.full, that's set active equal to false. We need to deactivate it, as easy as that. We can go ahead and check it out, as you see. We look at the cube, we look at the cube, we look at the door, and when we look at the sky very fast, it, it actually will disappear because we cannot interact with the sky. So that's how to fix the bug. So that's how to create a dynamic crosshair like Fierce to Fathom in Unity. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, the like would be amazing. You can subscribe to see more content like this. You can tell me any comments, any opinions, or any suggestions you have in the comment section below. I would be very happy to answer them. Hope all the best for you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.